guys, I'm Ate, and today we are here in Snapshot 23W17A to give you some 1.20 building tips. So let's begin! And starting off, we have the chiseled bookshelf, which using the top texture of it can be used as either a slight decoration in the pads, for example here, I'm using it as the side of this pathway, or as a main part of the path, right? And it also goes quite well with both the birch, as you can see all around here, but also the oak wood, the mangrove wood somewhat, mostly in this, mostly the stripped log, the, the planks are kind of right, but you know, it's, those two work together and this one works with that, so it ends up working. And actually the mud does have a similar kind of round, which makes it good enough. And mostly it also has a very similar texture to the to the pots, right? That, as you can see right here, both the flower pot and the, the decorated pot can be used. Another thing, uh, cherry leaves and pink petals, because they work quite well. Here we have a thing that goes from oak to azalea to flowering azalea to then the, the cherry. And here you have moss, azalea, flowering azalea and the pink petals, which kind of gives this sort of, you know, a, a very not grassy at all to very grassy. And in fact, as you can see right there, it's even on moss, like you can actually place the petals on the moss, which makes it somewhat better. And there's also a few plants that work quite well. I feel like the mangrove propules, this shade of green works quite well. And I feel like you also have the pink petals, the alliums and the two pink tall plants, as well as the uh, spore blossom. And mostly with the spore blossom, you get these bl green particles that go quite well with the falling leaves as since and there are green leaves anyways so the falling petals work quite well with that so now knowing all of this we, we can actually use it as you can see right here in this small little park like area so for instance right here we have using uh, the jungle in that's mangrove leaves uh, we have this small part of this park that has the multiple different kinds of flowers the lots of petals that go that are very intense around the tree and less and less the further away you go and you have this, this normal tree that you can see right here i tried to work with the with the petal increase but wasn't quite able to do it unfortunately uh but this is quite cool and also around the park, as you can see right here, you have these small lantern designs using the decorated pots with lighting rods and some lanterns on top. And you can always use something that goes well. For instance, in the park, the, there's multiple things that could work, like the shelter, friend, those could all work for this kind of situation with the park. But as you can see on this side, to get this custom looking uh, cherry tree that still looks somewhat minecrafty, I simply made a few trees, a few cherry trees grow in the same place by putting them, bone milling a lot, removing a few, uh, removing these tree logs, putting more. Then I added these logs around the base here to make it look, uh, to make it look like the roots are really in there. I mixed the load, the blossoms. Uh, to create those green particles as well, and it goes quite well along with also the different variety in the flowers down here. I feel like this works quite well. And since it interrupted me as I was talking, you can see right here using this the decorated pots on along with the mud, we can do this cool looking fountain where the small part of the pot could be the the the, the ch -ch -ch part of it. In fact, I even used the sheaf pottery shard if we continue on our path we can see that now using the double-sided signs we can use a signs for things like this saying that the cargo depot is that way and that the cherry tree park is straight up front which is a pretty cool feature mostly when if you want to do things like this and indeed in this case i also use the strip logs and yoke signs to make it accentuate more on this part and make it look like it's a more stable structure now if we keep on going this way you can see that there's a whole lot of things i feel like the uh, pots can look like sacks or like uh, large gallons of sorts 
Uh, so you could use them, for instance, here, I used all of these little plants that just kind of burst out to make it look somewhat like uh, storing those things. Uh, for instance, here there's just a bunch of ferns being stored, here a bunch of sticks, uh, here a bunch of like nether stuff, and it's just somewhat coming out a little bit. But like the whole thing is really just, you know, the cargo for the thing, I think it look, works quite well. Another thing that you can do is by placing either pickles, candles, or the lantern on top of them, you can make it look like it's uh, a seal of sorts, right? It's covering it up. So for instance, here you have uh, liquids of sorts, alcohol or something, that's being stored inside of the wines you know, and beers or something that's being stored inside of this large gallon. Maybe you have um, precious items and rocks, or maybe you have a uh, fishing bait or something that's being stored in these places, and so it's closed. And like those ones that are clearly open or you can use it to show to showcase your trophies like you can use it as a base for your piglin head or your dragon head that work quite well since they hide this little bit which makes it look like it's really just this area is made for it even with slight decorations of the thing or you can even use it for a conduit since the conduit kind of floats just a little bit on top of this making it look even better and i feel like it's quite a good way to like showcase but to end off this list of details we have a plant that works quite well if you want to do a sort of uh, like abandoned you know, overgrown area which is the Torch flower. Now I feel like the torch flower works particularly well because it resembles the ferns uh, by quite a lot, like both color-wise and shape-wise, it resembles the ferns quite a lot. In fact, if you look at the fern, it almost has that shape of the torch flower, so it's almost like it's just like a not fully grown yet torch flower, which I feel like gives that uh, a really good feel, and mostly those slightly bluish greens also go quite well with the lichen that you can use to add a lot more overgrown a lot more of this overgrown aspect but yeah relatively short but i feel like there was a lot of stuff to showcase in today's building tips so if you think i missed anything and there's some more tips that i should have that i should have talked about don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below and if you have any ideas or any sort of videos please Tell me. But in a way, this was a video and I hope you liked it. So, yep, yeah, I'm Elpide. Over.